Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Cow. I know what you're commenting right now. You're telling me to move on. So in the last video, we looked at the Architects mod. This was a settlement slash base building mod for Kingdom Come Deliverance. And that video did incredibly well. So a major thank you to everyone who watched it. To the point where even the mod developer commented on it. They said, thanks for showcasing my mod, you sexy biscuit. Have fun building stuff, people, and maybe create some screenshots of it. The main development of this mod happens at GitHub. And gets updated there primarily. The release on Nexus mod is done afterwards. Keep up the good work. Me and my girlfriend had a blast watching this video. Really funny. Thanks to Warhorse and the modding community. So yes, this is being constantly updated. And that is absolutely incredible. As of two days ago, they've added in usable entities like chairs, benches and beds, added custom actions and new entities, a generator and cooking, added basic custom crafting system, and they've also removed invalid references from the assets. Now, there were some things that just wouldn't spawn, so I'm assuming that that's what they're talking about. This is the most active mod I've currently seen. I think this is absolutely fantastic. So in the comments, I had some requests from you guys. The first one comes from the amazing Joy Gill, and they said, build a staircase really high. Well, we can try and do that, so what I'm going to do is go through here. There's a load of new items I'm seeing. I'm going to try and find uh, the set of stairs. Now, I have tested these before, and they do work, and they have full meshes, so you're actually able to completely walk up them. Um, so I'm hoping that this is going to work quite well. So if I... There you go. Wooden stairs. Brilliant. So if I was to... Add that here. And there you go. We've got our first set of stairs. So if I walked up here, yeah, you guys can see I can actually go up to this point here. I really hope this works. I I'm going to try and place one here. Oh, there you go. It's, it's a bit off, but you know what? That's working. So if I was to just repeat this process. So let's add another one here. Ah, it's really quite hard to get up. <laughs> Hang on, give me a second. Go, Henry. Climb. I may have to put that one down a bit. Hang on. Uh, okay. On to that one. Brilliant. Um, right. So I've accidentally deleted it while I was stood on it. And, um, I'm still hovering. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Um, okay. I love how the sun's behind him. It's our lord and savior, Henry. Bailiff of Biscuit Town. I think the best part of this is that he looks a little bit sad. Probably because he's realizing that he's very high up right now. As we saw in the previous video, there's not really any limit. So Henry could get as high as he wanted. Was that a thing back then? Probably. And Carla Arlette asked, can you make a video building your own town? Well, have I got news for you? Because that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Now you can see why I didn't spend hours building stairs. Okay, so I've brought myself to the southwest of Townburg, and there is a really nice field here. This is going to be absolutely perfect for building our town. Now, don't fret, this is not going to replace Biscuit Town. This town, I'm going to let you name. So comment down below on what you want it to be called. Okay, so I think this is probably a good starting point here. So what I'm going to do is quickly go through this list and see if I can find something building related. Right, so what I'm going to do is find some form of house that I can have as the center of our town. Now, we've got a couple of sheds here. So, if I was to put a shed maybe here. Okay. Oh, now that fits perfectly. Now, of course, this is backwards, but that's fine. Um, so, if I was to face this direction and do the same thing, in theory, it would be that way around, right? Yeah. So, there you go. Now, something they are planning on adding is the ability to actually see where you're going to be placing things. So, I'm very excited for that. That's going to make this a lot easier. But as of right now, that's a pretty good start. So, what I can do is delete these and then place one. I'm thinking we can have maybe like a, a center road coming down here, um, heading throughout this field. So, if I was to place a barn, let's say about there there. Right, so there you go. So the town folk would walk down here. So this is our kind of like side of houses. So we've got a shed here. That's good. And that would probably go onto the side of a house, right? Barn. Now, what does that look like? Oh, that is massive. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be this bloody big. Hang on. Let me go around the side and see what this looks like. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. People could blatantly live upstairs. <laughs> it's a bit small, but you know, that could work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this 
here. Now, for some reason, this one builds behind you. <laughs> so, that's slightly weird. But, oh no, that's really high off the ground. That's the only problem with doing this, is the fact that, of course, not everything settles on the ground. And what I can maybe do, then, is put it the other side. So, if I was to stand, let's say here, move over a bit and then place it. Yeah, you guys can see that it fits in perfectly there. Okay. Now we have kind of an amalgamation of two buildings, but you know what? That looks more like a house. <laughs> That's really bizarre. Okay, we have our first building. Now, to be able to get inside this building, what I'm going to do is build some stairs up. So if I was to put them about here, probably. Okay. Uh, there. And there you go, we can actually walk into our new house. Oh, that's amazing! Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, um, could we maybe add in some form of centerpiece to our town? Maybe add in, oh, a well. A well will be good, right? So we can have like a well in the center of the town. Although, we do have some shop fronts. Maybe we could have like a shop front next to it or we could place a market oh a market square perfect okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add one here and then add it about here it's all about trying to get the right distance um so that needs to be moved a little bit to the right so about there oh my god that's, that looks great okay so we've got our little market center here um i'm gonna also add in maybe one facing this direction uh, so we could add one in about there. Okay. Yeah, that could work. So we've got to got our market here. I I'm really happy with that house. I know it's intersecting with the other building, but I think that works really well. Oh, there's stone walls. Hang on. What do these look like? Can we make a boundary? Oh, right. Okay. Now that, that could be pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to maybe have stone walls around the back of the houses. Right, so what I'm going to do is start building along here and then we just keep building along. Okay, move back and then place about there. And yeah, there's a little entrance here for people to go through a little gate. <laughs> oh, this is so fancy. And then just keep doing this. And so we have, like, a boundary for the town. I think that's a pretty good idea. Also, if these intersect, I don't think they're going to make that much of an impact. They aren't going to look that bad because they're basically intersected already. Now, that looks perfect. Okay, so we just keep doing that, keep intersecting them. And in theory, this should look pretty realistic, right? Now, of course, this doesn't have to be completely straight. This can be a little bit wonky, and that's fair enough. So, uh... That looks pretty good, actually. I like that. So we've got the basics of our town. We've got the boundary here, which I'm going to be putting buildings up against. And we've also got our market square. Now, I don't know if there's any form of road um, that we can pick here. I do know, though, that there are tunnel sidewalks. Now, these are from the mines in the game, and they look like this. So, worst case scenario, we could use these as kind of a path system. So if I was to stand here and place it there... Yeah, so that, in theory, is a road. So we would then be able to walk along here and make our way to the market. I don't know. That kind of works. I'm not too happy with it. I, I kind of wish we had the ability to maybe paint a road so then we can have it coming through. But I do like the fact that everything here has nav meshes. So um, NPCs are able to walk on these because I tested it and I put some stairs in front of an NPC and they actually walked up the stairs and, and then proceeded to fall off. But it was funny. Now, something I want to quickly do is put down a bed in my room. Uh, and there we go. So I can actually now sleep and save in my own house. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, we've also got benches. So we can actually place some benches outside of my house so let's put one here and then we can actually sit down wherever we want amazing oh god town building is a lot of hard work i'm gonna say right now this is not an easy job there's a lot that's going into this okay so i've just woken up and i'm noticing a small fault i just thought i pissed the bed so it's not exactly waterproof but it will do I want to put down a fancy chair. Hang on a minute. Let's put it in here. <laughs> oh, so fancy. Okay, so after about half an hour of messing around with my town, I've come up with this. 
So first things first, you come through the gate to the town centre. This leads straight to the smithery. So I've put in the forge here, I think it looks quite nice. This is as centre as I could get it. And I also put in this torch here, just in case it gets dark. And then I realise that the forge produces light. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Now there's a little bit of world building you're going to be seeing throughout my town. There are some barrels here. Now, normally these would be emptied and they'd have all of their stuff out all over their forge. But these people have just moved in, so of course they haven't emptied their barrels yet. Next to my house resides my garden. Oh, this looks so bloody fancy. Now it's got some concrete going around the side here, and I've put in loads of different types of flowers, which I find bloody awesome. I've also put in one single tree, because I think it looks quite nice. Now to the back of the town lies this guard tower. I put this here just in case any Cuban bastards coming through the bloody forest. Also, there's a weird tree here. I, I don't know why I put that there. So I added quite a bit onto the house, so of course we have these steps going up to the bedroom, but I also added on a whole new section to the right. Now this is another barn that I kind of squeezed inside the building, and this basically allows for us to be able to put stuff underneath. So they've got some sacks here, they've got their moving boxes still to be finished unboxing, which I really like. They've also got a hay bale here, and also this pile of wood. Now, of course, over time, this wood is going to go because, of course, they're going to be using said wood. Okay, not really, but use your bloody imagination. Now, I did move the market a little bit, and what I've done is I've added in different stools. I think these stools look a lot nicer, the red ones. And I've also added in a couple of sacks and stuff because, of course, they're unpacking everything, as well as another box here. Uh, I really like that. And then we've got our hay bar. Now, uh, don't look to the side because, as you guys you can see it's kind of clipping through the wall and that side's clipping through the... It's, it's fine. If you look at it from here, it looks absolutely fantastic. And probably the most professional looking part of this whole town is this fence system I put up, which is really nice. And it heads all the way down here. Now, there is a small problem in the fact that uh, it kind of ends here. So maybe I'm going to have this as like a work entrance for people using the smithing and everything. And then it just kind of ends there. Also, if you make your way up, uh, you guys can see that I haven't finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's slightly lackluster I'll give you that but for half an hour's work with some messing around with the systems I really like this and it does prove if you put some time and effort in you'd be able to create your own village incredibly easily now learning about all the different ways buildings go down is quite interesting so if I was to, let's say put this fence down you guys can see that it, it goes down like that that looks really nice but of course to make it go this way I'd need to stand here, right? So then you'd have it like that. So if I was to kind of combine these two together, what I'd need to do is head to about here. Make sure I'm standing straight. You really do need some kind of bloody ruler here. All right, and then I could add in that there. And as you guys can see, that kind of works really well. That looks quite natural. I've got to give massive props again to Benjamin. You are doing amazing work here, and I really can't wait to see where this mod goes. This is possibly the most exciting mod for Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is fantastic, and I can't wait to see where this goes in the future. Now, in the patch notes, it did say that there was a new simple crafting system, and this opens a whole new door. Now, personally, I don't know how to do this. I wasn't able to find this option, but imagine... If they added in the ability to, let's say, go over to a tree with an axe and actually use the axe for what it's designed for, getting wood, you'd actually be able to collect wood and then use that to build the items you need to build your town. And I would lose hours doing that. Let's say you needed stone to build a stone wall. You'd actually have to go here and hit this stone. It just adds in so many cool ideas. Now, I know I'm asking for a lot, but I really do believe that this is the best mod for Kingdom Come Deliverance, hands down. Up until now, my favourite mod was the camping mod, uh, but this blows that out of the water. This is incredible. The fact that we can add fully interactable objects is amazing. A lot of the mods that I've been seeing recently, including the Castles mod, um, and the Privish Lavitz Castle mod, you aren't able to use the objects inside those buildings. But with this, you could add them yourself. Let's say I wanted to add another bench here. We could then sit on this and have a 
I sit down, there you go. I think this is incredible, and I'm going to keep saying that until all of you have downloaded it. If this isn't reason enough to pick up the game on PC, I don't know what is. Currently, right now, on Good Old Games, the game is on sale. You can currently get the game for £12.59, or if you wanted to get everything, you can get it for £21.15. And that is an absolute bloody bargain for this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my town. Comment down below, give us a name for our new town. I'm really excited to build onto this a little bit more. And if you want to see more in-depth on how I built this, I will actually do a more in-depth building video. I just wanted to kind of get this done to show you the possibilities of this mod because I think it's absolutely incredible. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.